Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about COB LED technology. It's the latest development when it comes to LED DJ lighting and gives you some really impressive performance. Incredibly bright output, low power usage, smooth color mixing with nice saturated and well defined colors. So a little while back I filmed a video on this guy here, the American DJ Dots Flood, and this light uses COB LED technology. If you want to go check out the review I did on this, click on the annotation down in the corner there to go see my review, or check out the link in the description below. Now it wasn't long ago that this was the latest and greatest in LED DJ lighting, simple RGB LEDs. So in today's video, I'm going to talk you through what COB LED technology actually is, and then give you a comparison between the old technology and what COBs can really do. Now COB stands for chip on board. Now the technology inside them is very clever and very complicated, so I'm not going to go through all the details because that will be incredibly boring. Basically it's a new way of packaging the LEDs so you get incredibly compact, ultra efficient, high output LED lighting. Now there's only one real downside to COB LEDs and that's the glare. It can be really uncomfortable to look at and this is something I've experienced myself. At my last gig I had the dots flood rigged in the centre of my truss pointing up at the roof of the marquee I was lighting. I had to be really careful about how I position and focus the light. Now when I didn't use the barn doors to block off some of the light, while standing on the dance floor you got a really bad glare from the fixture which is very distracting to look at. So sometimes it's a good idea to put some diffusion filter over the light itself to stop some of the glare. Another slightly smaller issue with COB LEDs is they produce a lot more heat when compared to your RGB LED diodes here, which means fixtures using them have to have a lot better cooling. That's not the end of the world but it does make things a bit more difficult if you want to package the COB technology into a smaller fixture especially if you want to have it running off battery power. So it's time for the comparison. I've got three fixtures set up on the truss here. Starting on the left, we have the American DJ Megapar Profile. This uses 108 red, green, and blue 10 millimeter LED diodes. Now next up, we have the American DJ Mega Tripar Profile. This uses five tri-LEDs. With tri-LED, you basically have the red, green, and blue LED emitters inside one package rather than separate colored diodes. And finally we have the Dots Flood which is using 6 RGB COB LEDs. Just keep in mind it's going to look slightly different through the eyes of the camera, so some of the colours may not be matching perfectly. Also we're only really interested in the quality of light coming out of the fixtures. You've got to keep in mind these lights are designed for different purposes. We've got two parkans here which have much narrower beam angles, and we have the Dots Flood which is designed to give a really wide wash. So while they're different fixtures we can still compare the quality of the lights between the three. Also, we're only looking at RGB fixtures here. Of course, you can get different types of these LEDs in all three different technologies, whether it be RGBW, which has additional white LEDs, RGBA, which has additional amber LEDs, even things like hex LEDs, which use red, green, blue, amber, white, and ultraviolet. So the only thing we're comparing here is the technology used, not the different colors of LEDs. So the first thing you notice is intensity. COB LEDs of the Dots Flood are much, much brighter. Now this isn't a precise comparison between the three technologies due to the different specifications of each fixtures with various wattage LEDs being used. However, COB is in a different league when it comes to giving you high intensity outputs. This level of output is something you just couldn't achieve with simple RGB LEDs. Just to mention beam angles again quickly, all the power of the 108 LEDs in the Megapar profile is being focused onto that relatively small area. With the dots flood, all that light energy is being dispersed over a much larger area, yet it's still so much brighter. The next important thing is colour, how well the LED can mix and accurately recreate all the various colours. In the Megapar profile, the RGB LEDs really struggle to recreate colour. The light created is very blotchy, and you don't get one smooth, continuous colour. Some colours are simply impossible to recreate, such as yellow and orange. White is also very poor, and the mixing of the different coloured LEDs gives you this horrible blotchy mixture of different colours. Fading between different colours is okay, but it could be much smoother. The Mega Tripar profile is significantly improved. Thanks to the Tri-LEDs, it's much easier to recreate yellow and orange colours. The output is also much smoother, and we don't get the splashes of different colours we got with the Mega Par profile. Again, the fixture struggles to create white light, which is just something all these fixtures have in common. It's very difficult to do with only RGB LEDs. Colour mixing is much improved, and the fading between all the colours is much smoother. The Dots Flood performs the best out of the three. It does really well when it comes to accurately recreating all the different colours, and considering this is still only using RGB LEDs, I was very surprised by the broad spectrum of colours I could create. 
It manages to do amber and orange so well that you would think it was an RGBA fixture. White is also very impressive from the COB LEDs. Though it does have a slight blue tinge to it, it performs better than both the RGB and Chai LED fixtures. RGB shadow is something you're going to experience when you're using fixtures like the Megapar profile here, with separate red, green and blue LED light sources. Since the different colours of light are coming from multiple light sources, you get lots of different coloured shadows. Now this isn't really a problem if you just want some flashing lights on your dance floor, but if you want to do more LED up lighting and perhaps theatre work, this is something you want to look at. So COB LED is the clear winner here. Better colour mixing, brighter output, and the ability to reproduce a larger spectrum of colours. Which isn't surprising really, considering it's the latest technology and it's the most expensive out of the three. Hopefully this video has given you a better idea about the differences between the three different technologies here. It's all about choosing the right fixture for the right application. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.